Black holes, when I started, were just complete abstract virtual objects that people didn't know whether they existed or not. And then over the course of time, people started to accept that black holes exist. But the proof was still missing. And I thought, we have to see that thing. We have to really nail down the fact that they exist. But when I talked about this at, at, at conferences early on, people were like, oh yeah, interesting. It was just a, a fantasy idea. When we were discussing whether we could image a black hole, people thought it was actually too small to be seen for a telescope the size of the Earth. You would need something bigger than the Earth. But then I realized they had overlooked a very well-known old effect, namely that black holes, they actually lend themselves, they magnify themselves, they appear bigger than people had thought. Now, I was at an institute where the technique of combining telescopes all over the world was actually already standard. You just had to extend it to much higher frequencies and much higher resolution than it was possible at the time. And then we saw this, this blurry, blobby thing, which was the real black hole. That was just such an, wow, it's real. It really looks like in your dreams and your simulations. I did share it with my wife, I must say, in the evening. She didn't quite share my experience.